our first bus in Spain. Hopefully it doesn't suck. Because <laughs> buses in America fucking suck. Seven euros each. Yeah, is that how much? Yep, and you get a piece of luggage included. Mm -hmm. Like we get luggage included? No, we get to bring our own luggage. Oh, they don't give us luggage for seven euros. No. <laughs> but first off, we had a, a wild night in Riba de Seya. Uh -huh. And now we must go on the bus and sleep <laughs> for six hours to Hion. No, it's only one and a half. One, oh. One and a half hours. Six hours is Hion to Madrid. Good thing I'm not planning the shit. <laughs> <laughs> Um, because we just keep walking back and forth, like, uh, or, you know, Abbott Costello or something. we were using <laughs> Apple Maps, and Google Maps is better uh, in international settings. Apple, get your shit straight with your maps. They suck. Yeah. They do not work. Google, save the day again. A plus. Or we'd be walking back and forth by the goddamn bus station over and over. Not gonna hit while we cross the street. Yeah. Taxi drivers here are nuts. Uh, yeah, so he hung. Very, very busy. Yeah.
real. So fancy. The room's not made of gold. Nope. We didn't pay for the the gold room. I get the golden ticket. Um, Great view of the rooftop with a cigarette butt. <laughs> TV, um, closets. Bathroom look like. Caution, there's a step up. Spin a pattern. <gasps> Huge! Oh my goodness. Whoa. Bigger than the, marble bigger than the room. Counters. <laughs> a towel heater. Amazing. The fanciest bathroom by far. And there's a bathtub if I want to soak all the pain of the Camino away. <laughs> all right. I like it. Let's see, how much did this one cost, Griffin? This cost this much. Yeek! Hopefully you're not in a rush to pee or poo because no. this is what's waiting for you. Oh my goodness, and there's the bidet. What color are those things though? It's got its own toilet room. All right, oh, we're not <laughs> filming this. All right, let's hope not. And I um, also forgot to mention that there's AC. A fan and our window opens. Hernan Cortez also has room service. Well, we're back on the main streets of Gijon after a wonderful and restful evening full of room service and sleeping. And I'm not wearing nearly enough clothes. <laughs> no, she's like half naked. <laughs> um, but I see a Cafe Con Leche place up there. You gotta All be right. freezing, right? Yeah. <laughs> Now this is a good living breakfast here in Eon. Look at this. A little bacon egg pincho. Some new cafe con pincho where I can fit my finger through the cup. <laughs> and some apple cake. All right. Let me show you on the apple cake. Gloria, Gloria's Garden. Yep. Absolutely delicious pastries, and now we are going to get our jackets because it is really chilly out. The locals are dressed like it's winter, but it's not. <laughs> <laughs> delicious apple cake, good so prices, so nice. don't you think? Yeah, it's good. And huge cafe con leche. experience some of the real Gijon and have some much less expensive wine.
So we just came down here to check out where Auga was before our lunch. Don't want to be late to your Michelin place. Um, costs a lot of money and they, if you're late, they take your money away and the reservations. It's really weird. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, be careful when you book a place like this because they'll send you a second email yeah. saying, do you confirm your reservation? And if you don't respond to that, you lose your reservation. They cancel your reservation. Yeah, like it's fucking weird. Um, <laughs> But yeah, so uh, now we know where it is. We're scoping it out and we'll be back for lunch. I'm glad we made it. Super impressed with uh, Hijon right now. It's very beautiful. It looks like they have an old Spanish wall from the early 19th century. Uh, very maritime ish place. Not quite as high as the wall in Game of Thrones. <laughs> or in uh, Cartagena, if you've ever <laughs> been to Colombia. Oh, yeah. But uh, still really cool. Um, I love the boat culture, it's big sailboat culture. I can smell the ocean and the seagull shit. to attempt to order room service. So uh, I tried it earlier and apparently uh, it didn't work. I went down to the front desk and asked why our phone wasn't working. And the guy said, you have to type zero before you type the phone number. 
I think they should just like put that in there. Let's see if we can do this. It's not ringing. The front desk guy wouldn't let me order room service at the front desk either. <laughs> he just told me to go back up. Ah, it's ringing. Hear that? 